Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alex and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to take screenshots in Windows 10. And before I start, make sure you enable subtitles on my videos to understand better what I say. So yeah, let's start. I'm making this video because first, my ISP or internet service provider has temporarily disabled our internet because of some technical difficulties and they told us that it would take a few days to be resolved. And as you can see in the bottom right corner, I don't have internet. The video that I wanted to record today had a link to a website and unfortunately I cannot connect to the internet because my motherboard does not have a built-in Wi-Fi nor I have a Wi-Fi adapter in my house. So I decided today to make a simple video and secondly I'm making this video because many people don't know how to screenshot their desktop or a specific thing and most times they use their phones and it turns out a bad quality. So in this video I'll show you two methods on how to take screenshots in Windows 10. The first method will take screenshot the whole desktop but if you want to take screenshot a specific thing you will need to go to the second method and I will put a timestamp right now. So if you want to stay here and know how to take screenshot the whole desktop what you need to do you need to look in your keyboard and you need to find two buttons. I will show you in the screen which buttons you need to find and these are the buttons that you need to find. So look in your keyboard and find these two buttons. It's the window key and in the top right corner find the button that says print screen sys rq. If you're watching this video on a laptop and you want to take screenshot on your laptop, many laptops do not have that button. I'm talking about the button where it says print screen sys rq. Many laptops don't have that button. But if you want to know how to take screenshots on your laptop, go to the second method which will be in one minute. So what you do with these two buttons, you hit them at the same time and right now you will see on my screen a black screen for one second. If I do it right now, as you saw, you saw a black screen. So you may ask where do I find that screenshot? So go down here where it says Windows Explorer or that folder. Then here in the left side, click where it says pictures. Then go to the folder screenshots and here you will find the screenshot that you made. As you can see that's the screenshot that I just made and this basically takes a screenshot the whole desktop. You cannot change it but you can change it in here, edit with Paint 3D. But if you want to take screenshot a specific thing, right now I'll show you how to do it. So you need to go to search down here, you need to type snip and sketch. This one right here, do not open the other one where it says snippic tool because that's the old version and that's the new and improved version. So you need to open this one and here in the top left corner you need to click where it says new. And if you click that you will find four options in the top of your monitor. The first option says rectangular snip. So what this means, if you want to take a screenshot of something specific, you can click right here and do that. If I do this, it will snip only what I mark. If I click new again, the second option it says freeform snip. So what this means, you can do what it says, freeform. You can do circles, all of that for example, but for this video I just did something random. If I click new again, the third option it's a window snip. It's exactly what it says. It will take screenshot the whole desktop. It's the same thing as the windows key and print screen sys rq button. If I click on top of my desktop, it will take screenshot the whole desktop. And finally, the fourth option, it says full screen snip. It's the same thing as the key that I showed before. And yeah, that's everything it. That's a video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you have any problems, tell me in the comment section and I'll try to help you as much as possible. If you have any video ideas, tell me in the comment section and I'll try to make them in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.